Hey everyone, Sound and Music got some new features in the most recent update, Beta.2, and they're really good. Let's go through them. First up here, Loop, and now Len. Loop, Len, Loop, Len. Len stands for length. When the second number is zero, the first number activates Len and represents the length of the SFX. Uh, this is really good. So SFX don't have to be 32 rows long anymore. Uh, odd time signatures and triplets are now much easier. So just to demonstrate, I have this basic pattern in 3-4 and we're going to adjust the length to 12. So it's going to run these 12 rows and then stop. And then here in the pattern editor, I can loop this. And then in a second channel, I can maybe put in some looped stuff at a different speed. Yeah, so this is important. This SFX with Len activated is your new timekeeper. And you're going to want to put it in the leftmost slot in the pattern editor. All the other SFX, you can loop and run them at different speeds. It doesn't matter. When your timekeeper runs out, the pattern is over and it's either going to loop, stop, or move on to the next pattern. Actually, let's try something. So let's take pattern, sorry, SFX one, and we're just going to make it a length of one. And then we're going to swap them here. So this is going to go on for 12 rows, and then this is going to go on for one row. There, done. <laughs> and we can even we could even loop it back after one row. <laughs> nice. So yeah, put your timekeeper in the leftmost slot. Okay, moving on. This panel down here is another big addition. This is your new filter section. Uh, a few different behaviors depending on what instrument you're using. Really, the best approach is to just use your ears to experiment and find the right sound. Um, but a quick rundown. Uh, these switches are SFX specific. So different SFX can have different settings. I'll just um, make, some, make some sound here. Cool. So this switch noise only applies to instrument six. If you're using six anywhere in your SFX, like a hi-hat, explosion, a gust of wind, you might consider playing with it. Uh, it completely changes the expression range of the instrument. So let's, um, we can do a, a quick uh, pitch ramp here, maybe something like this. With it off. And then with it on. Nice, yeah, very different sound. Uh, the buzz switch does exactly what you would expect. It adds some high frequencies to the sound. Why don't we just stick with uh, one note for now. Uh, it works more subtly on instrument six by removing some rumbling low frequencies. So here's with it off. That only works when noise is off though. Yeah, it doesn't work in that case. Uh, dampen kind of does the opposite of buzz. It removes high frequencies. So you can play with buzz and dampen uh, for more subtlety. Uh, 
Okay, reverb uh, subtly adds a delay to a second voice, makes it sound more spacious. I believe what's happening is it's taking that second voice and delaying it by two or four ticks. Uh, and detune, which changes the tuning of a second voice in, in a few different ways. The middle notch is a subtle detune. And the third notch adds an octave above or below the pitch. On instrument zero though, it acts very differently. The middle notch sounds a note a perfect fourth below and a perfect fifth above on the third notch. So in one SFX, you can have two clearly sounding different pitches at the same time. This means uh, if you're clever enough, you can get peak weight to play eight different pitches at once. Very cool. So those are all the main features in the new update. In the next few tutorials, I'm gonna write some music and get into more advanced uses of these new features, specifically with the custom instruments, uh, because filters work with custom instruments, which is nuts. All right, happy to answer any questions. Let me know. Thanks for watching. See ya.